Well, this is a continuation of uh, of the lesson optics for grade 10 and in this video we are going to see the types of lenses first what is lens a lens is an optically transparent medium bounded by two spherical refracting surfaces or one plane and one spherical surface so uh, a lens means it should be transparent medium and it should refract the light waves so next the types of lens so it is a convex lens or biconvex lens concave or biconcave lens so in convex lens it will be thicker at the center than at the edges so when the light beam enters this uh, type of lens it converge at a point so we call um, we can otherwise call this lens as a converging lens and next is a concave lens and it is thinner at the center and thicker at the edges and uh, when a light beam enter through this lens it diverges or spreads out so we can call this lens as a diverging lens so these is these are the convex and concave lens so this is your convex so it is thicker at the middle and thinner at the edges so it is a converging lens and this is your concave thinner at the middle thicker at the edges so it, when the light rays passes through it it diverges the rays so it is a diverging lens and other types of lenses are plano con plano convex lens so if one of the faces of biconvex lens is plane it is known as plano convex lens and uh, another type is plano concave lens so same thing if one of its faces is plane then it is a plano concave lens so look at this here so here one is plane and another one is bulged out or curved inside okay so this comes under your plano con convex or concave lenses and next we are going to see is where the image will be formed and what will be the size of the image will uh, formed based um, when the light rays passes through the lens that is first we are going to see here So there are certain rules which has to be followed and first rule one is so when a light ray strikes the convex or concave le uh, lens at the optical center it continues to uh, follow its path without any deviation so look at this picture here it can be your convex or concave lens and look at this so the light ray it is traveling from a distance and when it is entering the lens it passes through the optical center so the center of the lens that is your optic center so when the light ray passes through the optic center it doesn't deviate from its path it travels in the it continues to travel in the straight line so there will be no deviation both for your convex and concave lens and next rule number two when a ray parallel to the principal axis strikes the convex or concave lens, the refractor ray or converge or appear to diverge from the principal focus. So, so what uh, what are the terms you have to know when you uh, before you knowing the images formed as you have to know the terms optic center that is the center of your lens this is your optic center center point in the lens and the imaginary line drawn across this is your principal axis this line which passes through the optic center okay and connects the principal focus is your principal axis okay and this f is your focal uh, focal focus point okay 
so this is a focus point for a lens so that is when a beam uh, when a light rays travel through it so uh, according to the second rule when a beam of ray which is traveling parallel to this principal axis so look at here it is parallel to the principal axis on uh, after it enters the lens what happens is it gets converged or diverged according to the type of the lens and the resulting beam will be uh, the resulting image will be formed at the principal uh, i mean at the focus point okay f so this is your second rule so look at here for a concave concave uh, lens here also it appears at f so the image will be formed at f this is your rule 2 so next is rule 3 so when a ray passing through or direct towards a concave or a convex lens the principal focus strikes a con convex or a convex lens the refracted line will be parallel to the principal axis so that is when the ray travels from a distance and it strikes to the principal focus and after that it if it enters the if it uh, uh, enters into the lens so the uh, diff, uh, the refracted ray will be appearing parallel to the principal focus so these are the three rules of refraction of a lenses uh, refraction of light by the convex or concave lens so next we are going to see about the refraction through convex lens first so we are take uh, first we are taking the object at infinity position so if the object is placed at an infinity position where will be the image will be formed so when the object that is at infinity position the image will be formed at the principal focus here f that is at f okay so this principal focus is nothing but the distance between the optic center and the focal length so this principal focus this distance is your focal length f okay and uh, when the when the object is placed at infinity the image will be formed at principal focus f and the size of the image will be smaller than the size of the object so next is object placed beyond c that is greater than 2f so when we when you place the object beyond 2f so what happens is the image will be formed the image will be formed at the f okay the image will be formed at f but the size of the image will be same as that the size of an object let's look at here so you are keeping a image here object here and it is allowed to pass through the lens and after refraction it is formed the image is formed that is between the c uh, between the center of uh, curvature and the principal focus so it uh, the image is formed between c and f okay between c and f and what happens is the size of the image is same as that the size of an object so next is object placed at c so when the object is placed at the center of curvature c so that is at uh, 2f so c is nothing but 2f a real and inverted image is formed on the other side of the center of curvature so here the size of the image is same as that of the size of the object so look at here the object is placed at c this is 2f is nothing but the center of curvature c okay and the image will be formed on the other side of the lens that is that uh, that is also at 2f 
and the image is same size okay and the image is real image and inverted so next is object place between f and c so when an object is placed between center of curvature and f so where did the uh, image will be formed is beyond 2f so the image will be formed beyond 2f and the size will be bigger than that of a object next object placed at the principal focus f so when the object is placed at the principal focus f so what happens is the image will be formed at a infinite position and it will be in a large size than that of the original image original object so next is object placed between the principal focus f and optic center so that is the object is placed very close to the lens between o and f and what happens is here the image will be formed uh, in the same side of the object okay the image will be formed in the same side of the object and this is your virtual image and the size of the image is larger than that of the object okay okay so next is the application of a convex lens so it is used in camera lenses and used as a magnifying lenses so uh, in a magnifying lens so what happens is uh, uh, the object will be close uh, will be kept between o optic center and f so that you can see the enlarged image enlarged virtual image and next used in making microscope telescopes slide projectors all those things and used to correct the defect of vision hypermetropia okay these are the uses of convex lenses so convex lenses are converging lens and uh, these are the uses of convex lens and next one is a refraction through a concave lens so next type concave lens and first one is a object at infinity so when an object is placed at infinity a virtual image is formed at focus and the size of the image is much smaller than that of a object so when we place a object at infinity so when the object is placed at infinity so what happens is a virtual image is formed at f virtual image is formed at f that is a focus and the size of the image is, uh, is much smaller than the original object size so next the object anywhere on the principal focus at a finite distance okay so when an object is placed at a finite distance from the lens a virtual image is formed between the optic center so that is a image is formed between the optic center and f okay and the size of the image is smaller than that of an object okay and it is a virtual image okay the next one as the distance between the object and the lens is decreased so what happens is the size of the image formed increases and uh, so if the distance uh, decreases the if, if the distance of an object uh, is between f and 2f is 2f means then the size will be increasing okay as the distance between uh, object and lens decreases what happens the um, size of the image will be increased so this is the case for in uh, case of concave lens next is the application of concave lenses so it is used as a eye lens in galilean telescope 
used in wide angle spy hole and doors and used to correct the defect of vision called myopia and uh, these are the uses of concave lenses okay and uh, this is your diverging lens thank you i'll meet you in the next video